This loving description of a personal library is from Elizabeth Willie's novel, The Well-Favored Man, The Tale of the Sorcerer's Nephew, from Chapter 7. All along one wall, bookshelves rose from floor to ceiling. In the middle of the floor stood a long, black-topped work table and tall stools, and on the wall opposite the bookshelves were glass-fronted cabinets filled with things I could not clearly see through the dust-veiled glass. Sorceress instruments of metal and glass and wood, small caskets and rows of glass jars. There were small, elaborately patterned, multicolored rugs here and there on the stone floor. Two tall closed doors were to either side of the instrument cabinets, one beside the windows and one near the door that led into the hallway, and there was a sink in one end of the workbench. There was a drafting table in one corner and a roll-top desk closed and locked in another with a green-globed lamp hanging from a chain above it, and more bookshelves built into the walls around it. And all the bookshelves were filled with books, overfilled with books, books bound in black and red and brown and blue and green leathers, brown folios, books made of carven slabs of wood and sheets of bark, books whose bindings were ornately tooled and gilded, and books whose bindings were rotting, books held together with string, and several stacks of parchment pages weighted with strangely shaped bits of metal or mineral specimens, or round, color-dappled, polished glass balls, books stacked on top of each other, and books double-layered on the shelves, books laid on top of the shelved books, and books with bits of ribbon lolling out like weary tongues to mark pages, thick books and thin books, and long narrow books and several round black jars of scrolls in wooden cases.